Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB school. In this video, we are going to simulate the model predictive control of DC motor or MPCF DC motor. The same model is available for download from the link given in the description. If you want, you can download, uh, download it and you can use it for your purpose. Let us get into the simulation. So when you download the file from the website, you will be getting these two uh, files. So actually you will be getting a rare file. If you uh, extract that file, you will be getting these two files, DC motor, MPC and the data for workspace. So let us open uh, those two models. Sorry, the model is already open. So let me close this model first. Okay, we shall open the model now. Yes. So to run this model to run this MPC, we need to have uh, the MPC control data. The name of the control file is MPC1. So we need to uh, bring that file to the workspace. So if you double click the DC motor MPC workspace data, you will get uh, two files in the workspace. One is MPC and another one is the transfer function of the DC motor. So here we have a basic DC motor. To the DC motor, the load torque given is 10 Newton meter. So this is the load torque. And here I have chosen the default motor or the preset motor. Uh, the ratings of the motor are 10 HP, 240 volts armature voltage. Maximum speed is 1750 RPM. And the maximum voltage to the field winding is 300 volts. And uh, the output of the measurement block are speed, armature current, field current, and finally the torque. The output of this, uh, I mean, speed will be in terms of radians per second, so that has, uh, has to be converted to RPM. The formula used to convert radians per second to RPM is 30 by 5. So the output at this point will be in terms of rpm here the used supply voltage is 240 volts and here we are measuring the voltage to see the variation voltage with respect to the speed and here we have the dc to dc uh, pwm generator uh, the input uh, for this pwm should be in between 0 and 1 the speed of the generator will accept only the values in between 0 and 1. So the output of model predictive controller should be in the range of 0 to 1. Okay, so this is the reference speed given uh, to the model predictive controller. Uh, MO is model output. So the model output is taken from the speed. Okay, and MD is the model disturbance or external disturbance. Uh, uh, same in the practical model uh, practical applications normally the dc motor uh, used to uh, experience some external disturbances like uh, temperature uh, some pressure in certain cases the external vintage uh, disturbances will be there so if you want to include those things we can include uh, in the model i mean in the md okay model disturbance since we are not including any of those disturbances, I am just putting it as zero. Okay, right. So to tune this controller to get this MPC one, we need to design it. Right. So if you directly design it, the model model cannot be designed. The reason is here we are using power electronic switches. So we need to have a transfer function of this model. Okay. 
So the transfer function of this model is derived and is kept here. Okay. So this is the DC motor transfer function. So let me show you how to uh, tune the model predictive controller. For that, let me open this, uh, open a new file. Okay, so I am going to take the LTI system, then I am going to select the MPC block. So we can choose this MPC controller. Okay, so shall connect it inside this LTA block we shall include uh, the transfer function DC motor TF okay so we shall type it DC motor TF so it is coming here okay you can select it press ok okay now we need to connect the output of the model to the MPC. Okay, I have connected it now. The output of the model is speed. Okay, right. Then I am going to give a constant value as a reference. So we can have this as the speed. Speed reference. So we shall have 1500 as speed reference and we shall include one more constant for external disturbances. So for this I am giving a value of 0. So now we need to tune the controller. To tune the controller, we need to double click the MPC and click design. Yes, here you select MPC structure, give the sample time as 0 0.0001. And press define and linearize. Yes, the model is getting linearized now. Yes, the model is getting linearized. So once the process completes, you can see the uh, see you can see the controller uh, name here, also the name of the plant. Yes, plant has come. MPC uh, one is the name of the controller. Once the process gets completed, you can see the response. Yes. Here you can see the output response. So it is getting settled in a good manner. So now we need to export the controller. Just you click update block and run simulation. Okay. You just click uh, update block and you have to run the simulation. See, already we have the file mpc1 here so i'm just going to rename this mpc1 sorry mpc1 and click ok so now this model replicates the uh, uh, entire structure of dc motor 
based on the transfer function of the entire setup i am going to i have tuned the mpc controller and with a tuned mpc controller now i am going to control the dc motor right just to check it we shall run the simulation once Yes, the simulation has started okay yes the reference input is 1500 so you can see see it's settling exactly at 1500 the simulation is completed now yes now what you have to do is just uh, we have to copy this mpc controller and we have to paste it here okay so after pasting it here uh, you connect all these things the output value uh, output uh, speed which is in terms of rpm then the reference speed and the model uh, disturbance so instead of giving a constant value i've given uh, a step response a step kind of thing for the first five seconds the value will be 1000 rpm and after five seconds the value would be the speed uh, reference would be 1500 rpm so with these values let us run the simulation Yes, the simulation is getting compiled now. Yes, the simulation has started to run. So as I told you earlier, the reference input is 1000, uh, 1000 RPM initially. Only at the fifth second you can see the step. So to make the uh, to make the motor to run at 1000 RPM, the voltage is being controlled by the MPC controller. See the output of the MPC controller will be in terms of I mean it will be in between zero and one. Uh, that goes as input. To the PWM generator, so this PWM generator will be producing the corresponding pulses. So yes, as you can see, the speed is getting settled at 1500 rpm. And the corresponding voltage for 1500 rpm is around 175 volts. Also, we can see the torque. The low torque is uh, 10 Newton meter. Sorry. Yes. So as you can see, there will be there will be some disturbances, and ultimately the uh, torque of the motor will be just about 10 Newton meter. Okay. You can see the armature current. Yes, it is also around 10 ampere, and this is the field current. Armature current. We have torque. Yes. 
so the same model is available for download from the link given in the description if you want you can download it and you can use it for your purpose uh, please uh, like your uh, subscribe our channel to press like button also you please share the uh, details about the channel to your friends thank you